Welcome back everybody to the Daily Racing Show here at Race Plaza Media and today we'll be taking a look at the difference between MotoGP and Superbike. Let's get into it. The main differences that you will find between those championships will definitely be when we're looking at the bikes but before we get into that there's a few other things that I want to cover that are different between those championships that I think are also important to go over. So first things first, MotoGP was actually founded back in 1949, which makes it the oldest motorsports world championship, while Superbike was founded back in 1988. Both championships actually have subcategories. However, MotoGP also offers an electric motorbike championship, while the Superbike championship does not. Moving on from that, if we're looking at the individual racing seasons for each championship, there is also quite a significant difference. Superbike, which has a total of 12 rounds for the 2024 season, and each round consists of a, a Super Pole event, which is essentially like a sprint race, and then you also have two races per weekend. While on the other hand, for the MotoGP season, you have actually a total of 21 rounds and each round consists of a sprint event as well as the main race that happens on Sundays. When we're looking at the individual constructors between both championships, there is also a difference. Superbike has BMW, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Ducati and Honda, where MotoGP on the other hand has Aprilia, KTM, Honda, Yamaha and Ducati. Besides of course the individual constructors, there is actually also a difference between the teams themselves. For Superbike, they actually have a cost limit compared to MotoGP where they're technically allowed to spend as much money as they want. I was looking up some numbers for this video, however, I wasn't able to find any recent numbers. As of 2019 or 2020, the cost to run a team in the Superbike Championship runs you around 2 to 3 million euros, where on the other hand in MotoGP, the cost runs you about 10 to 15 million dollars. So because those numbers are already a few years old and we're post pandemic, prices are probably more expensive now. And that is also reflected when it comes to the bikes. The main difference between the bikes between MotoGP and Superbike is that for Superbike, they use something that is a tuned up version of a production bike. So that means a production bike is a bike that needs to be available for sale to the public and there needs to be at least 2000 units manufactured to be eligible to be used in the Superbike Championship. And on top of that, the bike cannot cost more than 44,000 euros. Where on MotoGP, on the other hand, those bikes are specifically built for racing in MotoGP. So those bikes in general are much, much lighter, but also probably more expensive. A little bit more details about the bikes themselves. So when it comes to MotoGP, they actually have a standardized engine control unit or also short ECU. While on Superbikes and they are allowed to pick their own as long as that still falls within that cost gap. And of course, I want us to talk a little bit more about the numbers when it comes to the bikes. Because the bikes in MotoGP are much lighter and specifically built for MotoGP and specifically built for racing on track. They are, as I mentioned, much lighter, but they're also much faster on the track. So to give you guys an idea, I looked at the times for the Portugal race of 2023. Both championships race there, however, not at the same time of the year. However, I thought the numbers were still quite interesting. So in Superbike, we had the fastest time clocking in at 316.8 kilometers an hour, where MotoGP, on the other hand, clocked the fastest time at 346 kilometers an hour. So you guys can see there's already quite a significant difference. To translate those numbers into individual track times, I looked at the fastest lap record on the Portugal track and we have a record of 139.61 for Superbike, where I have found the fastest time for MotoGP a 137.2. So there is quite a big difference, but that of course makes sense because you have bikes specifically built for racing and one that is also built for the public and then tuned up to make it even better for racing. And the last thing I wanna cover before we're gonna wrap up this video is how can you watch each individual championship? 
So each championship actually has their own individual streaming service that you can subscribe to, where Superbike for the whole season costs you about $69.90 and you of course get access to Superbike as well as their subcategories and all previous seasons available on their streaming service. And on MotoGP on the other hand, the streaming service costs you about 139 to 148 euros depending on which version you opt for. It is of course MotoGP is, a, is more expensive but you also get more races throughout the year. You also of course get access to Moto2, Moto3 and Moto E as well as all previous seasons that are available on the streaming service you can watch there as well. And then I did just find out as of today as of recording of the video um, MotoGP will also be available to be watched on HBO Max in case you are a US viewer you can watch that on there as well which is really really cool and the final thing I want to say before I'm gonna wrap up this video is first things first if you've never watched any of those series we actually have videos on the channel that breaks down everything that you need to know about each individual championship and then I also want to say of course this video might make look MotoGP much cooler because they have you know they have the faster bikes and all that stuff and MotoGP is considered the pinnacle of motorcycle racing on road tracks however that doesn't take away how cool Superbike is because those guys are still racing incredibly fast and the really cool thing is that they do have two races per weekend so there's a lot of racing that you get to see when you watch Superbike and I'm not trying to advocate for either of those. I just want to make sure that people, you know, understand that either of those, whatever fan you are, it is cool because it is racing and the more racing we have, the better I'd say. Anyways, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know down in the comments what you'll be watching. If you are going to be watching MotoGP, keep it in mind, it is having, uh, it has its first race of the season this upcoming weekend. MotoGP are... Superbike already had its first race of the year. I'm excited to be tuning in into MotoGP because I have HBO Max, so that makes it very easy for me to watch. And of course, as always, like and subscribe, and we'll be seeing you guys here tomorrow at the Daily Racing Show.